Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ and in this video we are going to do another battle against a Magic Professor Elshion. But this time I'm going to be using a Gita based team. So I actually have used this Gita team before in my battle with um, Nushisama. So I use this particular Gita team here. So pretty much using, uh, focusing on tanks that are going to attack with um, uh, just focusing on uh, one enemy. So here on my guardian angel, I'm going to be equipped with the Suriden gear. So uh, this is actually going to be doing some pretty good damage. Uh, just like uh, the new weapon, uh, the Galaxy Blade, it also has a direct hit. So um, I should be able to do some pretty good damage, I believe, with this character. Though if I had a battle master, that would have been even better. But um, this should actually still work out for this particular battle. Then over here on my High Priest, I'm again going to have my standard gear. So I'm going to have on the Angel Rod, uh, pretty much going to be doing healing, uh, buffing, and also hopefully maybe getting a charm or two in this particular battle. So uh, yeah, so that should actually work out. Here on my Ranger, I'm again going to have on the Hades Scythe. So that's actually going to uh, do some pretty good dormant uh gear damage uh but the trap that it does have actually does do uh dorma based damage and also has a chance to lower defenses so that's actually going to really work out for me here and then here for my archmage going to be equipped with the inferno rod or the Finner inferno wand i should say and this is actually going to have a uh, grand inferno which does pretty good there uh gear damage to an enemy so also compared to the uh uh, Hell Mirror, this actually is going to have uh, be cost effective because uh, uh, Grand Inferno is actually going to cost um, almost like 15 uh, MP less, so that's actually quite good. So if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. But I now actually want to go into this battle. So uh, going over here to the ruler list and right up here. So, uh, yeah, this should actually work out well. So, uh, should have no problems. Pretty much going to do the exact same strategy that I did before. So, with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to actually go ahead and use Protective Shield to protect myself against being put to sleep. Same here, going to use Protective Shield. And then also here, protective shield. Is it right over here? And then for my, ooh, okay. So my guardian angel didn't get protective shield in on time. But um, here, what I'll do is I'm going to have to use emergency maintenance, which is the protective shield for uh, this particular weapon. So here now I'm going to actually go ahead and start attacking. So let's see about that there. Uh, no trap. Ooh, but I did get a um, clone technique. So another turn. So here definitely going to have to heal up. Okay, fully healed there. Then here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use Magical Awakening, increase my spell damage. Okay, nice guard from my uh, ninja. So here, what I'll do is um, I'm going to go ahead and use Transcendent uh, Fighting Spirit. Going to head, go ahead and attack with my ninja. So here, pretty much there, I actually did get the trap. Here, going to heal up. And here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead, use Chant of Magical Echoes. So hopefully increase my echo rate. 6,000 damage and here, got an echo. So 5,000 damage, so 11,000 damage there. And 
Okay, so there goes a double slap. And then here, what I'll do is I will go ahead and use Surin Full Blast. So 9,000 damage, got a direct hit, but uh, not a whole lot of damage compared to uh, boggy based attacks. But um, still, I should be okay for this battle. Here, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to use Ultra Hustle Dance. Hopefully I can get an echo with it. We'll see what happens. No, but um, should be okay. Okay, got an echo there. So yeah, for 11,000 damage there as well. Okay, so now actually next turn it seems like uh, I'm actually going to run out on my uh, protective shield, so um, I'm going to be more susceptible to uh, sleep attacks. So uh, here, what I'm going to do is actually I still want to attack. Here, I'll go ahead, heal up. Okay, so there goes a great wall from my guardian angel. Another Landiho attempt. Okay, so now he is under 50% of his health. So now he has used uh, that particular attack there. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attack with Sudan Gear. So there are 12,000 damage. So here, going to do Ultra Hustle Dance. Uh, hopefully I can get a charm. Ooh, yes. All right, great. So that actually really does help me out there. Here, going to go ahead and... And there's Spell Crit there. So that really helped me out there. Um, hmm. Elshin is almost down. Actually, he is going to lose his buffs. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attack here. Okay. So here, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I am actually think I'm okay with, I think I'm okay with uh, my HP, so I'm going to actually go ahead and heal, uh, not heal, but attack, but then, yeah, so down. And again, uh, uh, Elshin is a purple soul, and here I got a D. Okay, so that battle actually went quite well. Um, what really helped me out uh, in this particular battle was probably uh, after he put on, uh, got went into intense rage, I actually did get a uh, charm with the angel rod. So that actually really did help out with this battle because he was not able to actually attack me. And then pretty much the next turn, he actually um, was going to lose uh, his buffs, so um, that actually really did help out there. So um, here, pretty much in terms of physical attacks, both my uh, ninja and also my uh, guardian angel did pretty well. Um, pretty much uh, steady uh, damage, especially I got a couple of direct hits with my guardian angel. But uh, pretty much, again, uh, the major damage dealer here uh, was the uh, Archmage equipped with the Inferno Wand. So um, I actually got Echoes pretty much every time that I actually attacked. So that actually in 
uh, had consistent damage to about 11,000 or so. So, um, yeah, that actually did work out. Um, things uh, besides that, um, I actually did get the trap on uh, Elshun with the Hades uh, staff with the Moonlight Funeral. So that lowering his uh, his defenses. So that actually did help out as well. Uh, besides that, yeah, so things actually went well with this battle. So what I want to do now is actually go over the S grade soul of Elshon. So that's going to be found right over, let's see, it's actually um, not as high of a soul as you would think. It's actually going to be in the 90s. So it's going to be down right here. So this is going to be the Magic Professor Elshon soul. So since it's purple, um, the main stats are mainly going to be uh, max HP, sometimes your max MP, and then also your magic power. So if you look here, max HP is going to be 82, max MP 60, and then your magic power 68. Those are going to be the three highest stats that you see here. Then in terms of the abilities, um, pretty much like I mentioned previously, um, it has something to do with leveling and the... Uh, uh, basic characters and advanced characters. So pretty much here the first ability is going to be plus 10% to regular field battles uh, or plus 10% to uh, XP uh, for regular field battles for uh, regular class for uh, basic classes then um, So that's pretty much for any level of the basic class then for the next ability is going to be plus 10% XP to uh, advanced classes uh, 50 and under for regular field battles. So that's actually another good one to uh, use for leveling up pretty much up to level 50 for the advanced classes. Then after that, it's going to have plus 3% to weapon and physical technique skill damage. Then it's also going to have plus 5% to uh, spell damage there. So uh, pretty much this soul is going to be used as a way of uh, pretty much just a way of leveling up characters in this case. So um, yeah, definitely if you're going to be um, a new uh, player to the game, you probably want to have this soul on in order to increase the level of your characters. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this in. And with that said, this is pretty much the last video that I'm doing on uh, Elshion. So uh, next, what I'll probably do, um, since there isn't going to be anything else coming up sent until uh, the next update, uh, what I want to actually do is actually um, go over a little bit about leveling and also the characters as well. So basic advance and also the special classes so please stay tuned for that but until then i'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video